Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This is Sir Jedi Sentinel, and welcome back to Batman Be Vlogged, the vlog series where I review an episode of the animated series Batman Beyond after watching it for the very first time. Today, we are looking at episode 4, Golem, originally airing in February 6th, 1999, written by Hilary J. Bader, directed by Butch Lukic. And right off the bat, I'm going to be honest, I think we have the first episode I didn't like. I don't know where on the scale I'd put it, you know, from a scale of didn't like to hate, but yeah. Coming out of it, this is not a good episode, at least not to me. There are some good points, like, honestly, one of the first notes I took was just COLOR in all caps with several exclamation points. Because in Rebirth and Blackout, I talked about how dull the backgrounds looked. Here, the backgrounds have so much color in them. You know, there's oranges and purples and reds and blues, and it just popped, and it looked so vibrant. I just wish it was in a better episode. So, the plot of this episode focuses on a student at Hamilton Hill High School, where Terry goes. A student named Willie Watts, voiced by Scott McAfee. And what happens after his relationship with the bully, um... Nelson Nash, which I'm honestly kind of surprised on this that we get a good performance here because Nelson is voiced by Seth Green. He's a very generic bully, but if you look up Seth Green's credits, it's a very against type performance from him, and in that regard, it's really good. But yeah, you can kind of guess what's going on here. Willie is going to get pushed to the breaking point and start snapping and lashing out. And how he does is his father, works in who works in construction, has this giant robot to do the heavy lifting, and Willie steals it and uses it to enact his revenge. This entire episode, and the reason I don't like it, well, there's a lot of reasons why I don't like it, reeks of after-school special vibes. And it's just... You know, like, very special episode where, you know, you have a sitcom or something and it kind of stops the flow of the show to address the issues directly to the audience. Um, yeah, this... And here's the thing. If you've watched anyone who grew up from that time or, or if you've seen anyone or you grew up in that time where after-school specials were common or you've seen someone today watching them... There's a reason, there's a very good reason why they were mocked. And it's because there's, like, they make a whole fanfare of what they're addressing. They make a whole spectacle of it, which I feel kind of goes against the point of whatever topic they tend to addressing. In this one, it's kind of bullying. And, you know, it kind of, it, it the way it plays out feels so forced, you know? It's like, because it feel it's under the guise of educating the audience. So, like, it, it, it. There's something very performative about what they were doing, and that's what this episode kind of falls apart. It doesn't help that just, given my modern sensibilities as a person living in the 21st century, um, episodes and works of fiction nowadays, nowadays that address these topics, they handle them so much better. Like, there's a lot of nuance put into them, or, you know, there's there's no fanfare to it. Like, you know... Episode, 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 very special episode, 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 etc., etc. Like, it, they, they air as just another episode, and they're usually done with much more nuance and subtlety. It's not as performative. It's done in a way that feels natural. In a way that's not, that isn't done here. It also doesn't help that, you know, most of the characters and background characters in Batman Beyond, and most of the Bruce Timbers for that matter have very realistic designs as much as possible and Willie looks very cartoony like cartoony like he's as thin as a pencil whereas everyone else has more realistic proportions he has a very big nose which is a problem in and of itself because that is actually a very anti-semitic caricature um thankfully this Thankfully, nothing about Willie suggests that. Like, like it's just, you know, Big Nose is kind of a, caric a problem of caricature that we really need to let go of. And it's just, like, Willie's path to villainy 
feels really sudden. Like, you know, we get one scene of him being bullied by Nelson Nash, and then we get another scene of him having to deal with his verbally abusive father, and then suddenly, boom, villain. He steals a robot, he tries to use it, and he tries to use it to enact his revenge. And, like, there is no build-up. There is no... No, yeah, there is no build-up to Willie's transformation into a villain. And I feel like if there was, it might have helped a smidgen. But it, it's really just the presentation in this episode that kind of makes it a problem. Also, another thing that I really noticed, um, Bruce is barely in this episode. Like, I think he has maybe three or four lines in the entire thing, and his presence is noticeable. Like, if this was a better episode, you might not notice that he's missing and that you miss him, but you do notice because this episode isn't very good. We also do a gadget of the week thing. Like, Terry is testing out a camouflage function, and it's done really poorly as well. Like, you see him testing it out on a basketball court, and then you see him using it at one point just to hide from the golem. And then it never comes up again, at least not in this episode. I, Which is both kind of funny and not, because the whole gadget of the week was a thing in Batman 66. So I don't know if that's playing homage or if just a poorly done implementation of of a new gadget or or whatever. I don't know what what I was trying to work there. Um and let's see is there any other notes cuz I I'm just going on about how bad this episode is. Oh, there was one thing I wanted to talk. When I reviewed Rebirth, there was one thing I wanted to talk about. I'm going on a tangent by the way. Um there was one thing I wanted to talk about regarding Nelson. Um I feel like there's this implication that Nelson is a joker. You know, one of the th one of the like street gangs who modeled themselves after the Joker, like so in Rebirth, um in Terry's first scene, in the scene right after the opening credits, um we see this Joker in a red suit essentially with a brass knuckles looking type weapon and Terry fights him off. And then later at school in Rebirth, um he makes a joke to Nelson about being, about um, how he had a run-in with a Joker and the Joker was actually funnier than Nelson. And then also later in that episode when the rest of the gang hunts, um, sort of attacks Terry and his friends and Nelson when they're all at this club. Um, we don't see that Joker from the opening of the episode there. There's also this implication that the Jokers are kind of different various gangs. Who knows what's going on there? Maybe as we go deeper into the into the show, we'll see more. Um, but, like, I kind of get this implication, and this may just be making a conspiracy theory, like I said, this is a tangent, that Nelson is supposed to be a Joker, and specifically that Joker. They even have similar, similar voices. I don't know if that's, um, I don't know if it's Seth Green voicing them both or not, but... Like, that's just my theory. It'll be interesting to see what happens or if I'm validated or not. But, yeah, I'm just going on a tangent because this episode is awful. Another problem with this episode is that pretty much everyone, except for Terry, Terry's girlfriend Dana, and Bruce, for, like, the minute he's in this episode, everyone in this episode is unlikable. Like, you have Nelson, who is your typical bully archetype you have his girlfriend blade who very rightfully gets mad at nelson for abandoning her when the golem attacks and then she just goes out with willie to get revenge on nelson and dumps him as soon as they make up and then you have willie's dad who is as i said kind of an, a, an abusive prick like he calls his son a wuss and tells him to take care of it and man up and all that stuff and then you have Willie, who, right after he becomes a, he kind of becomes a villain, is just, you know, does the whole victim mentality. Like, the whole world's against me, woe is me, I'm gonna get revenge on everyone. And it's like, that's one of my major problems, I think, with this episode. Everyone is unlikable! Again, except for three people, Terry, Dana, and Bruce. And it's just, I'm really over unlikable characters in fiction. 
myself. This is just a personal thing to me, but it's just like unless they go through an arc where where they kind of realize what assholes they were and mature and grow up, um, if they just stay unlikable, then congratulations, you succeeded. I don't like them. That also means I don't like watching them. Like, like, one of my favorite unlikable characters, and just what I said going through an arc, is the character of Lexi Cross and Chucky. Like, because they do some interesting things with her, and it's much more nuanced than it is here. That's kind of the big problem with Golem. There is no subtlety, there is no nuance. It's just kind of taking a hammer and hitting you on the head with the message. And it, like I said, there are things I feel this episode could have done to make it better, you know. Willie's descent into villainy could have been more gradual. Um, you know, the characters are so unlikable. Like, if you added layers or softened them a little, that might have helped. But just, on the whole, not a fan. And I'm really worried because this episode kind of ends on a cliffhanger that implies Willie is going to come back. So we'll see what happens there. If he does, I hope he's handled better here than he was here. But those are my thoughts on Golem. Have you seen it? What are yours? Start a conversation in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, click the bell next to subscribe to get notifications when I upload, and if you could, please share the video around. All of it helps my channel grow. In the description box below, for the time being, you will find the link to my Twitter where you can follow me and get updates on the channel. This is Sir Jedi Sentinel, and I'll see you guys next time for episode 5.